Welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to be talking about the Nikon Z6 firmware update 3.4 to 3.5. What does it have? What does it do? And how do you actually get it on your camera? Right now you're actually seeing me through that firmware. And I would definitely say I've seen some slight improvements in autofocus. But let's get to a coffee shop and let's see how it works. All right, we've got our coffee. We're at Abloom Sick, which is an awesome local coffee shop here in downtown Calgary, the Beltline. Coffee's super good. And the host gave me some free rice cake, which is always super awesome. First of all, let's go through some of the specs of what this firmware update actually has to offer before we get into how the actual installation works. So first things first, you're just gonna wanna type in Nikon Z6, because that's what we're using, firmware. 3.5. So I'm going to go to the download center here and we're just going to go through some of the changes from 3.4 to 3.5 just to talk about, you know, some of the things you might be seeing in this firmware once you actually install it on your camera. So the first thing is the custom button feature. So if you've got one of the newer um, Z-mount lenses, so you can see the list here, um, there's an added functionality custom button that's on the lens. So this update gives you more uh, customizable options with that feature. So that's pretty cool. Not something that really applies to me because again, like I'm using the FTZ2 adapter right now with the older 1735 f2.8, but uh, you know, it, it's something that's definitely worth noting. Recall focus position is also improved, so that's great. So that'll be really nice when we're doing autofocus or wanting things to uh, track. It sounds like it's going to be less jumpy than in the past, so that's really awesome. The, th the biggest thing I've seen improve is uh, overall better autofocus. I would say the detection's a little bit better as well. I don't think they really talk about that as much in this release, but you know, I think that's, that, that's okay. Now we're gonna go through how you actually install it. All right, we've got our coffee. Let's talk about how you actually go about installing this update. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your CF Express or XQD card has been formatted in camera. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is download this file. Obviously hit accept, make sure that that's good to go, but hit accept, download it, and then unzip it. So right click and copy this file. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Finder and we're gonna go to our CF Express card there. Once I'm here, I'm not gonna actually double click on any of the folders. All I'm gonna do is right click and paste that unzipped bin file into the general area. Okay, this is done. Now we can plug it back into the camera and actually install it. So there you have it. I would definitely say that overall I haven't noticed a ton of changes, at least for my usage of the Nikon Z6, but I'd say the autofocus has definitely improved a little bit on the FTZ2 adapter. Um, aside from that, when it comes to the new custom button features that you can get on some of the newer Z lenses, I'd have to refer to some of my colleagues that have got the fancier lenses. For that, I definitely say though, um, once you get a chance, definitely install the firmware. It doesn't brick your camera or anything like that. No, it's it's still a good firmware update, so definitely make sure you install it. And also, I would like to give a shout out to Vahography, who recently commented on one of my videos. Uh, you know, if you guys have seen his work, he's a really strong proponent of Nikon. He liked the idea of Nikon Nation, so let's keep that going. Hashtag Nikon Nation, and thank you, Vahography, for your comment. And guys, check out his channel above my right hand here. He's got some really awesome content. Content. And I think we'll just wrap it up there. Please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views, do it for yourself. Not that many people watch this video yet. Click it, watch it, it's pretty good. And I don't mind watching myself on a 100 inch TV to jack up those views, but maybe you could watch it too. Think about it.